Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bomb B and you're very, very welcome. Now today we've got a map which ticks all the boxes. It might not be the most beautiful map you've ever seen. It might not be the slickest, the most intuitive, but it has something and that is buildability. You're going to look at this and say, I could build on that. Actually, that's what I said. I said, oh, I could build on this. And I'm looking forward to actually showing it to you because I feel that you're going to grab this one. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get that daily reminder out of the way, shall we? That's right, hitting the like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. So thanks for your support. Today's map is Flush Cradle by Shilka. Now Shilka's completely brand new to me, but Flush Cradle is a name that you won't forget. So uh, good name, well done Shilka. There is your start square with two rivers running through it, completely separate from each other, one from drawing and one for pouring into. Very good. The resources, well, all around the outside, all within 25 tiles. And once again, very usable, a very good work there. Off to the workshop. It is a mass transit DLC map, you will need that. Uh, we are going to be using the Natural Beauty theme and the Definitive Vision LUT. And all told, it all comes together very nicely indeed. Like a little bit of reading, that's all there in place for you. Now, the mountains around the outside are for backdrop and aesthetic reasons. We will have a look at them later on, but uh, I wouldn't get too excited about them. They're there just for, for pictures, you know? The roads are excellent throughout the map, really good layout, really well laid down as well. And we have got a belt buckle interchange, this one here. And boy, are there a lot of lanes. <laughs> there really are, oh my life. But it will handle any amount of traffic you throw at it, so that's a good thing. Let's count these lanes at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, sort of eight nine and ten right uh, i say sort of eight because we, we it loops around we counted it twice three six nine twelve fifteen sixteen seven eighteen lanes on on ten roads we counted it twice i know but it's it's taken up two isn't it you know um but look at that very slick not a uh not a pillar in the way not a street light -like clipping all this all the ramps are really smooth like this one here very decent standards now, this bridge is rising because we have a shipping lane going through there. Is it high enough? Well, you'll have to wait to see. After the intermission, we'll cover that one. Another, this looks too low, but it's not. It's plenty high enough. It's deceptively low. And again, no street light clipping. Again, good work indeed. And very aesthetically pleasing, I would say as well. Coming through some, some wooded areas in towards the start square and the start square intersection. And you can make out we've already got an asset down there in place. So we can have a look at that. But there you go. Where's that other river? That other river is over there. There you go. The drawing and pumping. And let's have a look at this. This is the Italian Flats Pack Rome by Zarix. Now, if you look down here, we've got some signage. And this is a Gelateria Armesto. Gelateria. It's, it's Armesto's ice cream parlor. That's what that is. Oh, and when you've overdosed on dairy, you can go to the pharmacy. <laughs> my Italian's about as good as my German, which is not very good. Uh, factoids, because factoids. Oh, by the way, this is a pack, three different buildings, put them together, any order you like, make something. Um, Elsa Lanchester, I thought it was Lancaster, but Lanchester, was so shocked by Charles Lawton's confession of his homosexuality, <gasps> that she went deaf for a week. Or did she? Or was she just, no, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> it can't be true if I can't hear you. Oh, that wouldn't work in today's day, would it? Anyway, um, yes, Italian Flats Pack, Rome by Zarix. That is right lovely, that is. <laughs> I can't hear you. Brexit, no, I can't hear you. <laughs> Oh, dear. even the slip roads look pretty slick. 
the arrows could be better, but um, they're pretty slick. I don't know if you can hear the rumble going past. There's some guy on the motorbike. He's been past the block, around the block about four times now. I couldn't leave it any longer. I had to start recording. Otherwise, uh, we wouldn't get this done in time. Anyway, uh, we'll follow the roads. Follow the roads around and around and around. Now, uh, there is something interesting coming up in a minute. Not earth-shattering, but interesting, like the bridge that covers here and comes down the other side. That's all good. Down the side of the river. About the only time you'll see the highway going down the side of the river is uh, right here. Then we've got this bridge that crosses across here. Oh, shipping. Shipping clipping. Uh, yeah, just, just a bit. <laughs> just a wee bit. A wincy bit. Uh, then over here we've got some um, fields and another elevated. Uh, we are into the fog, but this is the only thing we're looking at in the fog, so I'll leave it switched on for now. We've got the other highway coming from that direction. And they come together. And look at this. They cross over so they can join up and go off the edge of the map and reduce down the network at the outside connections by half. I like that. That's good work. I'm quite, quite pleased with that. Very nice. Uh, the rail. The rail can't go too far wrong. Admittedly, the route that we took in at the start of today's show, there was quite a downward slope on the rail there, but it was out in the fog, out in the mountains, and we're not looking at that. <laughs> we're concentrating on the 25 tiles because that's what this is all about. We do have this. this we get look at the ramps here. Okay, it's probably still a little bit too steep in terms of realism. Well, they do say in the description they're not that worried about realism. And uh, but even so, it, it's you can buy into this, can't you? It's not that bad at all. And the arc in there really does mean that it's uh, brought down to ground very gently, very very gently indeed. Uh, another shipping clipping, maybe. Let's have a little Luxy over here. Ooh, height might be an issue. Definitely going through the middle. Just catching its antenna on the back there, which means, of course, the cruiser, which is taller, that stands no chance. About the only thing wrong with this map, of course, is the um, is the heights of the bridges, if you can call that wrong. You know, it just depends what you're interested in. If you're not that bothered about ships clipping through, if you're going to use a mod, that's perfectly high enough. If you're going to use the um, the advanced vehicle option mod, I'm sure that's what it's called, um, then you can switch these ships for smaller ships and it won't be a problem. Or you can raise the bridges yourself, that won't be a problem. Or you can just let them crash through and it won't be a problem. Honestly, it's not really a problem. Nobody really cares, do they? Do they? <laughs> anyway, the rail is all very slick and very smooth and very easy easy on the eye we'll join up with the highway here i think we've been down this way already so yes we have we've been this way so nothing's going to surprise you down here we can prepare ourselves for the intermission when we come back we'll have a look at the shipping routes which we already know a little bit of a minor problem we'll have a look at the water and then we'll just have a little look at the map as an overview and just decide whether or not this is a builder's map what do you think <laughs> Do your bridges look like the game's AI has gone on holiday? Would you like vanilla bridges to be proud of? Then you need the beginner's guide to perfect bridges by Bon Bon B. Click the information button below. And so back to Flush Cradle by Shilka and the shipping routes. Okay, we won't talk about the heights of the bridges. We'll just have a look at the route. Make sure we don't go across country. We go down the main river and that seems fine to me uh fine to me there might be a little bit close what well, is this high oh hang on hang on is this high enough rail bridge rail bridge yeah same same again same again i mean they look about the right height in terms of realism it's just that these are ocean going liners and this is a river which draws away a little bit but of course we're playing vanilla rules here i've bound to be playing vanilla rules it's a vanilla map isn't it and so that's just a little something that you probably should be aware of. Uh, the rivers, we do have water flow down these rivers. They are working rivers and uh, they do they do flow. Uh, across here, is the, uh, this is the other river coming through the start square, the wide river. Slightly lower water flow through it, but it is moving and it's going off the edge of the map and that's all we can ask for. So it's all centered around the 25 tiles. Let's have a little look at, ah, hello. Hello. This is probably the highest bridge that there is. Let's see how um, Cruiser deals with it. 
and he clips through it as well. So yes, uh, even the highest bridge is just getting clipped. It depends how bothered you are. We're not gonna look any more of those. We've done that now. Uh, the mountains around the outside, a little bit of limited foliage on it, just for light decor. It leaves you a load of trees to paint with uh, when you're doing your decorating later. Uh, they're okay as hills and mountains go. I don't think they're the greatest things I've ever seen, but they're certainly not ugly in any way. And uh, yeah, you've got all the resources around the outside of the uh, of the the buildable area, the 25 tiles. We come down here, you know, the whole grid thing. It's so easy with flat because it's completely flat. We've got these um, these fields, and I'm a great advocate with these sort of things of actually using these for zoning. It draws you if you if you are so easily drawn into the everything has to be one big grid. Doing a few of these at, uh, at slightly jaunty angles, and then going to the next field and going right. How are we going to deal with this next field? We're going to do a couple of roads this way down this next field, like that. And so you can zone in areas, pretend you're buying the fields individually, and then work into them. And see if I can just get that one turn the turn this snapping off, so I can do that better. Lovely. Uh, that can go right to the end. So yeah, you got you got the gist. And then that'll take you away from bog standard. You can still end up, you can still do your um, your grid systems if you like doing grid systems. But with it being completely flat, uh, the only thing forcing you away from that would be the shapes of the rivers and the islands. But yes, uh, the rest of that map, if you wanted to go grid in the middle, you could go grid in the middle. No one cares. It's your map to build on if you like it. Uh, what I do like though is with the, uh, the highways, they're not too close to the rivers. So they do give you lots of opportunity to build on either side of the highway, which is also good work again. I don't know what more to say really, apart from it's it's a very neat little map. So what do you think though? Is it a one star map? Is it a five star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewers choice top 10. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Well, only you can decide. And I think it's going to be in there, you know. I don't know if it's going to be top five, but it's certainly solid enough and interesting enough to have a go with, isn't it? Eh? Aesthetically, okay, it's not brilliant. It's not brilliant, but it's solid. It's fine. Nothing wrong with it. Three stars. Detailing, very good. Very, very good. Yes, we've got slightly too low bridges, which is going to stop any fifth star. But other than that, very slick, work, very good work shilker. Four stars. Gameplay potential. I would give the fifth star, but I just get the feeling that I would have liked a little bit more undulation with the map, just to bring in the third dimension a little bit. But even so, it's a very, very high four stars for gameplay in my book. So there we are, Flush Cradle by Shilker. Very buildable. I could build on this. Do you know what? I like it so much. I'm going to do it. Let's do it together. It's the Bomb Bomb B seal of approval. Very nice. Well, what do you think? Stick it down in the comments. I'm really genuinely interested because I do listen. I might not agree, but I do listen and I can be I can be turned in different directions from what I feel because if enough of you say the same thing, then I kind of realize that maybe sometimes I might be wrong. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, your chance to vote on an old map is on screen now if you want to go and have a look at that. And uh, yes, there's other videos on my channel somewhere. Do remember, put them somewhere. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.